Hochjoch Glacier on the Austrian border. A few decades ago, a large ice field still covered one large area. Due to global warming, only some smaller glacial snouts remain. In addition to the polar ice caps, glaciers are the largest freshwater reservoirs of the Earth. Their disappearance has greatly changed the face of the Alps and contributes to the rising of the sea levels. In the 1890s, the University of Innsbruck was one of the first in the Alpine region to conduct a long-term study of the glaciers. To allow conclusions about any changes, the data has to be collected over decades. Glaciologist Andrea Fischer is currently responsible for the recording of new figures. She's constantly overwhelmed by the beauty of her object of study. Glaciers are my workplace. I often go up and drill to take samples. When you go up there, you hear all kinds of sounds, and the ice is often very bright. It almost glistens. It's an incredible sight and awe-inspiring. You know that this ice is centuries old, and sometimes even older than that. It has been lying up there for an incredibly long time. It moves slowly and cracks. It's always a beautiful sight to behold. In spite of the danger, Andrea Fischer is on the glacier all by herself. Of course, there are some things that are dangerous, like the crevasses that open due to the glacier's movement. The glacier is actually being torn apart. The crevasses can be very deep or filled with water. There are rock falls and also glacial mills. Sometimes the flowing water makes a hole and you certainly don't want to fall into one of those. But we're experienced and have been trained well. You have to be fit, as it's quite a journey up there. Every day I walk for about 16 hours and can be carrying up to 30, 40 kilos. That's hard physical work. The art is still being able to think in spite of it. On her tours, she often spends the night in refuge huts or bivouacs, right in the middle of the ice. Every summer, Andrea Fischer goes to the glacier, and every year, it looks different. After a snowy winter, it can have grown, for example. Andrea Fischer hardly takes any personal belongings with her, the bulk of her luggage consists of her equipment, like the gas burner, which creates hot steam to get through the ice. With her measurements, the glaciologist can determine if the ice field has lost a larger proportion than normal over the past year. Some of the timescales we have are amongst the longest in the world, and that's why the data we collect is so important for the international climate research. But it is hard work. The hot steam eats 10 meters deep into the ice. On the glacier, measurements are taken with simple wooden rods. When I put the rod in there, it freezes. And when you go there the next time, it will be just under a meter above the ice. In two weeks, it will stick out about two meters forty, and so on. If you go up there at the end of September, you can see how much has melted that year. Thank God the glaciers melt. Otherwise, they would already have ended up in Hamburg in northern Germany. But at the moment, they melt a lot. Only a little snow that can turn into ice remains. And that's why the glaciers are receding. It's quite prominent, as we have lost almost half of the ice since the end of the last little ice age in 1850.
Despite the snowy winters, over the last 150 years, the glacier has been receding by about 40 meters a year. If it continues at this rate, it will soon disappear or turn into a miniature glacier. There will always be areas of shade where avalanche snow will collect and there the glaciers will remain for a very, very long time. Soon, images like this may only exist in archives. <laughs>